Hello there, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Path of Petalburg with me, Norman. I have a new team for you and an especially fun battle for you to watch today. I have here a Conkelder, a Cresselia, a Talonflame, and a Mawile against my opponent named Dwayne with a Gudra, a Mawile, a Volbeat, and a Jolteon. This battle was one that I had over stream, and it was really, really fun to play. It was a fan challenge, and I decided to take them up because it should have been fun, and it absolutely was, in the grossest possible way, as you will see now. Alright, so they send out their first two Pokemon, which are Joltik, uh, sorry, uh, Jolteon and Bulbeat, against my Cresselia and Mike and Kelder. So, I know that they have Prankster, and they're going to Thunder Wave Mike and Kelder first turn. Not an unexpected move, but I wasn't too worried about it. Shadow Ball here comes onto the Cresselia. Not doing much of anything, really. About 25% damage tops. And Ice Beam here comes out and does about 20% to the Volbeat, and the first, I get a pair of hacks here. And so second turn, they decided to Thunder Wave my Cresselia this turn. And let's see, they Shadow Ball me again, and it is to the Cresselia. A lot of damage, it's a critical hit, and it's a special defense drop at that too. But my Sister Sperry here is going to restore a lot of HP. And the second Paralysis in a row comes out from the Conkeller. But thankfully, because I am able to get the Trick Room up here, I can take advantage of my speed drop. Now, I forgot that Encore was a move option on the Bulby, and so I can Encore it into Trick Room. But thankfully, Conkeller is able to attack with a Hammer Arm, reducing my speed further. And I'm able to knock out the Jolteon. And because I'm Encore, I can Trick Room only and that's going to reset the, the Trick Room. And they're going to send out their Mawile now. Definitely not a great Pokemon to be facing, but it's what it, it is what it is. And they're going to Mega up this first turn. And Dazzling Gleam comes out from the Volbeat. Thanks to my Soul Vest, I'm going to be able to take that with the Lake Champ. And Play Rough here comes out onto Kelder, but it's going to be able to knock me out. Unfortunate. But I am able to get the Trick Room up once more. Not having to worry about uh, paralysis there. And I'm able to bring out my own Mobile and intimidate their Mobile, which is definitely going to be helpful because that reduces their attack significantly. Um, I don't want to have a uh, have another Trick Room come out, so I switch out into my Talonflame. The bravest bird of them all. And I Mega up this time. And they're going to use Thunder Wave. Again. <laughs> onto, my, onto my Mobile. And they get a Parahax. So many Paralysis hits. And Firefang too. Firefang is a move I don't see too many times on him a while. And Thunder Wave comes out here. So all four of my Pokemon have been Thunder Wave at some point during this match. But thank Lord Helix I'm able to get a play rough off. <laughs> and get rid of this bug. Firefang here comes out from the Moile trying to get some damage off. Thought I could survive this, but it seems to have gotten a very high damage roll this time. Because I I am knocked out by that. And I am able to hit through the paralysis here, and I've had enough of this uh, hack, so I'm able to overheat here with my Talonflame and knock out the Mobile. So, it looks like I might be able to pull this battle out here. <laughs> after all that, ha that after all which happened earlier, I would really appreciate being able to knock out this Skrudra, since it is their last Pokemon. So, Talonflame is unfortunately unable to move because of paralysis. <laughs> and Ice Beam here does come out on Gudra. 
Unlu unlu unluckily, or I don't know what the RNG gods are saying today, but uh, no freeze hacks going my way. And paralysis coming from the Cresselia and from the Talon Flame. <laughs> this is so gross. <laughs> and the Muddy Water does hit again, knocking out Talon Flame and basically dashing my hopes at winning this battle. <laughs> and the Twisted Dimensions return to normal. So they're going to Dragon Pulse with Gudra. Almost knocking me out there, and Cresselia does use Ice Beam here. Unfortunately, no pair of no, no uh, hacks there with the with a freeze, and they're going to be able to knock me out with the Dragon Pulse. So this was what it was. It was definitely not what I expected when going into this battle. Uh, normally, you don't get that many hack that many uh, pair of hacks. But apparently, uh, Lord Helix was uh, on their side today and was uh, bribing the RNG god along with him. So I did it. I was able to at least get that down to a 1 0 loss, but it was just so hilarious to play at the time. I couldn't even believe it. It was honestly a work of art, in my opinion. Almost never do you see that many paralysis hacks come out, and. Uh, all, all the power to my opponent for being able to at least uh, find a win condition to win against the team. And it was still fun to play regardless of how it turned out. So I really hope you enjoyed that battle as much as I did because I rarely ever get to play battles like this. And I hope you all tune in for more battles in the future. And if you do plan to stick around for the future, give this video a like while you're at it and subscribe to our channel down below. And if you want to, you, you can check out our Facebook page, Competitive Pokemon Battle Network, link in the description below. Thank you all for tuning in, and I hope to see you next time.